Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to on our channel. My name is Enes and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that? Because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to completely remove the add to cart button from your Shopify store. So if you want to remove the add to cart button from the product page on your Shopify store, well, that's impossible actually from the team customizer. If you did access the team customizer, it will show you the add to cart button as well as buy it now button. They are in a single section. You can add remove one and leave the other. You can either remove them both or keep them both. And that's an issue for people that use the single product Shopify store. If you do dropshipping and you branded a Shopify store based on single products, uh, well, you might need to remove the add to cart button. It's better and it will help your conversion rate because the customer doesn't have to add the product to the cart and keep shopping to look for other products. Either he will buy that product or not because there is a single product in your Shopify store. So what's the point of adding uh, add to cart button or even have the cart uh, page on your Shopify store? So that's really important to remove the add to cart button from your Shopify store if you do dropshipping or if you do have only a single product or your Shopify store or a brand that has only one product. So that's really important. And no worries, in this video, I will show you how to completely remove the add to cart button from any Shopify store and using any team. I did test it on three teams, the down team, the one I'm going to do demonstration on, and I did test it as well on refresh team and sense team. So no worries, if you are using any team on your Shopify store, it will work for you just fine because we're not going to use the team customizer because as I mentioned earlier, the team customizer will not give you the option. We'll use a custom code that you will paste in a specific section on the team files and that will remove the add to cart button without any issues and without any more talking. Let's just get to it. But please, before we start, if this video helped you out, help me out pressing that like button. I would really appreciate it. It's completely free and it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys and it's all free here I don't offer any coaching or any paid courses or anything like that as I said I'm working for you if you have any issues or anything like that drop me a comment I will be happy to reply to you and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see this is the Shopify store that I do all the tutorials on and the video banner as well as the sticky header with the transparent background as you can see the video on the banner is actually playing underneath the header and as well as the hover effect on the menu as you can see I can just hover on the menu and it will show me the menu I don't have to click all the things and many many more I did show them in tutorials and all on my channel and completely free so if you are interested in how to customize your Shopify store to make it unique and branded make sure to check out my channel but for this video as I said I will show you how to completely delete or remove the add to cart button from the product page or from the whole Shopify store. And the first thing we're going to do is obviously access a product page. So we can see the add to cart button actually. And here we go. As you can see, this is the product page that we're going to do demonstration on. And we do have the add to cart obviously in here. And by the way, if you are interested in how to add these color swatches with the, the picture for the variant for the color on it, as well as this effect and so on, and the countdown timer and the sticky add to cart right here on the bottom of the page make sure to check out my channel as i said a lot of things i did show on my channel that you will not find anywhere else but let's just stick to our subject in here i'm getting drifted again i apologize in advance here here is the add to cart button in here so we will completely remove it and there will be only here buy it now button and that's it so the first thing you're going to do is obviously access the shopify dashboard then click on online store from the left menu and click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code right here and it will show you the code editor for your shopify team the next thing we're going to do is find a base.css file and you will find it on the assets folder right here simply click on assets and it will show you a bunch, bunch of files in here and here is base.css and by the way, if you cannot find base.css, make sure to access team.css. So either base.css or team.css. And you will only find one of them. So in my case, it's base. So I'm going to click on base.css and it will show me a bunch of CSS code in here. And the next thing you're going to do is scroll down all the way down to the bottom of the page. Let me drag this down. And here it is too. 
make sure you do access the bottom of the page and completely new line in here then scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as cold and simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna find this very short code as you can see it's just three lines <laughs> so it's really short and just three lines of code that will completely disable the add to cart from your Shopify store. And as I said, it works on every team for every Shopify store. So let's just select the code in here and let's just select those little three lines and right click and copy and get back in here. And as I said, make sure you access the bottom of the page and simply paste in the code in here. As I said, I repeat, make sure you paste it at the bottom of the base.css. After that, simply click on save button right here to save the changes. Then we will get back to the product page, which is this one right here and reload the page and add to cart should be gone and shouldn't exist on anymore on any product page on our Shopify store. So let's just reload the page and see if that's working or not. And it will actually. So let's just reload the page and here we go. Where is the add to cart button? Doesn't exist anymore. Only buy it now button and it will work as i said on every team let's just reload the page again to make sure it's working fine and here it is as you can see there is no add to cart button anymore on your shopify store and that's how you add add to cart button to your shopify store easily without having to use any apps or anything like that and as i said at the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that? Because simply I'm working for you. Otherwise, I think my job is done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.